you're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Maybe could have got more. Half of it's probably expired. There just wasn't a lot left. This it? Yeah, well, we've been picking Macon clean for weeks. <sighs> Fuck. Which is why I've been saying, and I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but we gotta hit the road. Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's gotta be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What it. about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She's right, you know. Shit's just getting worse by the day. Hey, man. She's not helping, is she? Uh, no, Kenny. She's been through so much. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? 
I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. Counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. It was a lifetime ago. Which is only going to make the feeling that you hid it and that there was even more to hide that much worse. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. Do you feel safe here? 
Show me a bath with a heated floor in a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hey, Carr. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, uh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and... I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Lily back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> Katja. Everything keeps changing. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hi, guys. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got?
It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous, and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried, and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Sure, Lee. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben. Relax. Okay. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Talk to Kenny about who I am. And? He was cool. He just worries about his family. That wasn't so hard, was it, tough guy? I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. 
I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Carr. Hey. Find anything? I haven't found out anything Well, there's yet. nothing to find in here. Ask around. Jesus, investigate. Okay, okay. I need to tell you something. What is it? I was sent to prison before the plague. You think that's news? I guess I hoped it was. Worse. Did you think that story died with my dad? Anything else? No. There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Duck. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Cool! You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk? You found the scuff here? This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, 
I'm a good guy. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, she says she's missing a piece of it. Well, I don't know anything about that. Sorry, Lee. Do you have any, uh, chalk I can borrow? Like Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No, why would I? I told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. It went about as well as you would expect. Hey. Find anything? Are you worried about morale at all? The darker things get, the more we have to worry about people giving up. Tell me about it. You're worried about people's moods? Have an ice cream social. Do you ever want to leave here? I want to leave here when we have to, not because of some fantasy of somewhere better. So, you think the coast is a pipe dream? Don't you? We're going to live on the water because we assume they can't swim? We're alive because we've stayed here. That's as far as the discussion needs to go. I'll be back. Hey, Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my, well, my thoughts, and I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. Definitely weird. It can't just be a coincidence. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Kat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs>
But we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Hey. Find anything? I'll be back. Hey, car. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. There's a grate down there. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Y'all better get your ass out got our people out there! We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! 
We can split the supplies, spread them around. Or we could just kill you and take it all. And, and, and what about when they run out? When you don't have us out there collecting them for you? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up! Bro. Christ! Oh shit! Give it there, smoke him out. We got to get out of here. No shit. Get those bastards. Cover our people and get them to the RV. Go around, shit, the brain, he's back there! Now! Get over here, hurry! Man, you saved our asses. Get inside! Help! Gotcha! Hang on! Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Get your asses around behind! Gotcha! Hurry! Come on! Clint, get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay! Go! <laughs> Get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Shit! Get down here! 